Right, so no, I agree. I mean, I think that the other thing that I think that we're not really talking about that much yet, but I think as time goes on, is really, it turns out that in metastatic disease, probably 20 to 30 percent of patients are going to have uh, recept mutations in the estrogen receptor, mm -hmm. which is a whole other issue it is. that we're probably going to eventually integrate into practice, not probably for a couple of years, but that may influence what we end up doing, I think, at the end of the day. Um, so the real other thing that we're kind of hinting at here as well is kind of where do we go? When do we make that decision? You know, we have XMS in and which I think everybody would agree is a reasonable therapy. You know, when do you make that decision about when someone should just go back on an AI, go back on fulvestrin, go back on tamoxifen, or actually go to something like XMS in and How do you make that decision in your practice? You know, it's an interesting question. I, I think I tend to use it after progression on a non-steroidal AI, and uh, mainly because my observation has been that you have better luck giving it earlier in the course of metastatic disease. So whether or not you've given, you know, you had an adjuvant AI and gave fulvestrin first or, you know, whatever your decisions were, I tend to try and use it in the second line setting as opposed to waiting to the fifth line setting because then the bone marrow is often poorly maintained. The bone marrow is toast is how I refer to it to my patients. But the, uh, and you know, people's counts drop actually and they get more toxicity. And we've been working on making the combination more tolerable and making sure that people are educated about what to follow and when. And on, with that included, it's using it earlier when people are in better shape and have less sort of cancer burden, they just do better. So using a varolimus earlier then? Yes, well, second, you know, the way the trial was designed, but right. not, because what's happened is, you know, when something is approved like that after progression on non steroidal AI, people right. will give, you know, four lines of chemo and then give Everolimus, which has nothing to do with the patients who are on Bolera 2. Well, I think many of the patients on, on Bolera 2 did get Everolimus and Exemestane uh, in later lines, but I do agree that you, uh, you really get the most efficacy in a patient that can tolerate it best, um, and after they, they have failed a, uh, either lepsidol or an astrozole. So I, I, I certainly would try to use it as early as possible. I, I, I expect to use the hormone, the hormonal therapies, uh, hopefully in several lines of therapy. So I, I do agree. I would use it early on um, and probably go to fulvestrin after you that. You could have received only one line of prior chemotherapy for advanced disease in Bolera too. So nothing like what I tend to see coming in, you know, in terms of people who are getting treated. But I completely agree with you. Um, one of the questions that comes up, I think, sometimes in practice is whether people start at a lower dose in older patients or patients you're more worried about. Do you do that at all in your practice? I, you know, I don't because I have been using Everolimus for a very long time in other indications, uh, uh, a part of the trial in, in, the, in the peanut indication. And, and, and really, I think uh, educating the patient, educating the staff, you, you really can get the patient uh, uh, to continue on Everolimus by, uh, by managing the side effects holding the drug a little bit at the beginning if, if someone does have mucositis. Uh, and, and you can continue a patient for a very, very long time on Everolimus if the, uh, if, if the entire team is on board, if the nurses uh, educate the patients properly, the patients understand uh, when they need to call the, uh, the, uh, the physician. And, uh, and really communication. They have been able to give the, uh, the 10 milligram dose uh, for a large amount of people.